Hey food lovers, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. On today's episode, I'll be featuring my own meal prep that sets me up for success. Since Fit Club is doing a belly burn challenge, I thought it would be appropriate to share some of my favorite recipes too. My meal plan is based on a macro percentage, which means 40% of my calories would come from proteins, 30% of calories would come from fats, and then 30% of calories would come from carbs. And I'll be making a sample plan consisting of oats with peanut butter, with a side of Greek yogurt, potatoes, chicken, green beans, and a protein bar for lunch, and <laughs> an avocado, ground chicken, and asparagus for dinner. I love oats with peanut butter, and I actually never get sick of it, and I've had it probably for about the last 10 years or so. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so this is what I typically eat. We're gonna start off with my favorite oats with peanut butter. So what I do is, I'll grab a nice bowl. I normally make this the morning of when I'm about to eat. I don't make this the day before just because, you know, it, it gets all soggy. So I like my oats fresh. And if you know me, maybe, okay, so first I would take about maybe a third cup of dry oats, put it into a nice bowl like that. And then you can just add some tap water in here. Just enough water to cover it or so. And also you don't want to forget about some flavorings. So I'm just going to sprinkle some cinnamon in here. Um, okay. Oh, I'm using my non-dominant hand to rope. <laughs> okay, so just a dash of cinnamon because cinnamon is actually a natural fat burner. I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but it is so, and it's really good. So let's do that. Plus you also want to season or uh, flavor your oats with um, stevia too. So I'm just using natural organic stevia. And then you mix this up together. And then I always just put this into the uh, microwave for about a minute or so, but you can also cook this over the stove top, whichever one works best for you. So let's put this here in the microwave for about a minute and 10, but you know what? You have to watch your microwave because when you're cooking your oats in the microwave, it actually kind of spills up. And it's funny, you know, I used to actually eat this at work and we had the microwave in the office and I was one of those girls that would be like this, just staring into the microwave because if you don't watch it, it's going to explode. So make sure you guys pay attention to your oats. Like I said, of course, you can always cook it over the stove, up to you, but I don't have time to do it over the stove, right? Do you have time to do it over the stove? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, let's make it as easy, easy as possible. As possible. But of course, if you don't want to use cinnamon, you could always um, cook your oats with something else. See, I just got to make sure it's okay. It hasn't exploded or it hasn't like risen up yet, which is good. But you want to stir it halfway, check up on it, and then start it again. But if you don't like cinnamon in your oats, you can always use protein powders if you want to make it more calorie dense, or you can always put some fresh fruits, frozen fruit. You can also put um, some nuts if you want to add nuts. But I like peanut butter. Okay, let's check up on this again. Oh, it's almost there. Maybe, I would say 15 more seconds. Do you have oats for breakfast, Jerome? Yes. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, I didn't know that. And how do you eat your oats? With this milk. Oh, just melt. Yeah. Okay, so I think this looks good so far. So that looks good. I'm just going to get my peanut butter. And I actually don't mix peanut butter inside. What I do is I just take a little bit of peanut butter. So it's already sweet already, but you just take some peanut butter and you just put it in the middle like that and then it starts to melt and it just makes it taste so good. This is one of my, this is probably like my favorite breakfast, I think. So you have to, yeah, I don't, but don't. Put, I don't know that you can put peanut butter in it, but I guess. You could, you but you also have to be careful with your peanut butter, right? Because oh. peanut butter is actually very high in calories. Mm -hmm. So if you are using peanut butter, make sure you look at the, the nutrition label. One tablespoon of peanut butter is already 90 calories. I don't know if that was probably like a teaspoon and a half. 
So this is what I would have in addition to another breakfast, okay? I also have Greek yogurt and I also measure this too. Now this is something that I would actually do the night before. And then I would put it into three containers and have three of the same breakfast every, well, breakfast for the next three days. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, I actually didn't measure that. Okay, so you guys, make sure you have a scale first. I'm gonna make sure, this, is, this comes in handy when you are watching your macros. So I'm just gonna put this to zero. So I'm looking at the nutrition label here. It says three quarters of a cup is 100 calories, which is 175 grams, and that's what I'm aiming for. So let's go for 175 grams. Obviously, if you burn more calories or you work out a lot, you can definitely eat more, but I'm just gonna go with the basics simply because I don't need that many calories. I would love to have lots of calories to eat, but I actually don't burn that many, surprisingly. So that was about maybe half a cup or so, but let's get the full 175. Okay, almost. There you go. There we go, okay. So I would put these in two containers too, and I, for you guys that don't like Greek yogurt, that's okay because Plain Greek yogurt tastes terrible, but if you flavor it, it actually doesn't taste that bad. So again, I would put more cinnamon, sprinkle it like that, and then if you add more organic stevia, like that, it actually tastes really good. Right, go. Have you tried this, Jerome? No, I haven't. So I, we'll try that today. Yes, and tell me if you like it. Yes, I will. And like, if you really can't stomach the Greek yogurt, you could also flavor it with protein powders as well. You can flavor it with some fruit, uh, just a little bit of honey if you like. Um, I've seen people do cocoa powder, so that works really well too. So okay. this is what- May Ray Stan said she uses uh, sun butter. Oh, sun butter. For the, for the Oh, see, if you look at the oatmeal now, okay. the peanut butter is actually melting and it just oozes and it's so good. Who, I mean, that's why I say don't stir the oatmeal when it melts and then you just have a bite of it. It's so good. Okay, so I would plug those two items into my, my fitness pal and then I'll just show you here on my fitness pal. So then you can see how I track my food. So it's under my diary. Okay, so I would plug in my oats, my cinnamon, peanut butter, my yogurt, and that comes to 351 calories. So that would be breakfast number one. Now let's go on to lunch. Okay, so for lunch, we're gonna eat chicken with beans and potatoes. I'm just gonna start my air fryer. Do you have an air fryer, Jerome? No, I don't. I'm waiting need... for the, the big oven. Oh, you need to get one. It's so good. And it just makes time. It just it just saves everything. I didn't actually think I would like the air fryer, but we had Nickel on the show and he brought his air fryer in and we opened our box since then. And now we use it like, I don't know, every day. five times a day. <laughs> five times a day. Literally yeah, five times a day. He, goes, he puts everything in there, eggs. He does put everything in there and um, like, thank God someone invented the air fryer because now RJ is cooking his own food. So thank God, right? It's like the answer to a lot of my prayers, him cooking his own food. So I'm just going to um, chop some potatoes and I just bought this little bag of potatoes from the store. It's cute. And then I just quarter it Again, I'm trying to um, break up my foods into 40% carbs, proteins, and fats, right? Because you still need your carbs. You still need it for energy, right? And who doesn't like carbs? I've, I've tried the keto diet before, and you know, it's not for me. 
it's just too low carb, right? And to give up certain foods like potatoes and bread and rice was actually asking a lot for me. So I did last on the keto diet for about, I would say 12 days. 12 days I did it and then after that I just couldn't. I just ended up indulging in carbs after so I knew that it wasn't for me. Have you tried the keto diet, Jerome? Uh, not yet. Not yet? No. If you guys have tried the keto diet, let me know. Please comment below. And also, if you guys have some favorite meals, please share as well in the comments below. Okay, so I'm just going to top up some potatoes, small pieces. And I don't add oil to this. I mean, you could, but you know what? I, I think it, it crisps up nicely in the air fryer already that you don't actually need oil. And I just cook, I just cut up a lot, enough for two, three meals. And then you just put it inside here. And I don't season it. I'll season it after just because might be too salty. So this is my potatoes. And then we're eating it with green beans and chicken. So I, uh, another tip for you guys, I always have rotisserie chicken in my fridge. I always, and we always buy two because oh, wow. this saves time, right? For those that don't have time to cook, we'll just go to the store and get a, a chicken. It costs like what? I don't know, $10. Costco is like $7.99. So it's so cheap. And then get my containers again. Also, you, you want to make sure you weigh everything. So my meal plan is about 1,300 calories. If I eat more or if I exercise more, then I would eat more food. But I wouldn't add more food. I would just change the quantity of whatever I like to eat, which is the chicken. So let's get this fresh chicken. I'm going to add about five ounces of chicken in here, but I'm gonna take the skin off because there's just way too much fat in there right now. And I'm aiming for about 30% of calories coming from fat. If I added the chicken skin, it would be too fatty. Jerome, who do we have online right now? Oh, we have lots of people online. Oh, we have lots of people online? So we, if we you guys have, have questions, let me know. Jerome, people. Jerome, read it out to me. <laughs> uh, there's no questions yet. So, okay. Um, yeah, ask some questions, you guys. What do you guys like to eat for lunch? Let me know. Or what are you guys having for dinner? Let me know. Or any tips or ideas for the air fryer? Just because we are now, like, obsessed with the air fryer. Let me see. Oh, we have Irene online. Hey, Irene. Oh, Kelsey's online. Hey, Kelsey. Congrats on your, on your 1,000 workout. Coming up. Coming up. Is yeah. it tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, so we'll, we'll be all cheering you on, Kelsey. Okay, so this is about four and a half ounces. You know, I'm just going to add about, I would say five ounces. This is too much. This is too much again. Okay, this is Kelsey five ounces. Said that's, uh, you're making one of her favorite meals. Oh, what's that? Kelsey. Kelsey says I'm making one of your favorite meals. Okay, which meal is it, Kelsey? <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey, you're looking so good right now. You're ripped. Okay, so this is six ounces or 0.6. This is 1.7. And you know, buying these two chickens, like you use it so fast, especially if it's me and RJ. And we bought this yesterday. We've already finished one. And I always weigh the meat without the bones. And that way you're set up, right? You have your lunches in the fridge already. You just grab your Tupperware and then you're good. Okay, just a little bit more. Couple more. Okay. So the chicken potatoes and the green. Chicken potatoes and green beans are so good. 
Okay, so this is my proteins. That's about five ounces of cooked chicken and then green beans. So I'm just gonna show you my bag here. I mean, you can always pair your chicken with any vegetable that you like, but I like green beans. And I actually buy this bag from Superstore because um, it's microwavable, right? So all I do is just pop my container into the microwave and bam, your green beans are done. Or you can always pop it in the air fryer too. I don't know if you've tried it, but I actually put green beans in the air fryer and then it it's all crispy. It's kind of, it's not chips, but it reminded me like I was eating chips. So it's actually really tasty. You have to try it. So I'm just gonna put this in raw because like I said, you can just microwave this. And I'm going to add about four ounces. Four ounces. That's 2.6. Again, choose foods that you like, right? So I like chicken and I like uh, green beans. So this, I'm sticking to this because I'm, I'm able to follow this. Let's do the next container here. So let's start, that's a zero. And then we'll add some more green beans. RJ likes asparagus, so we buy asparagus for him. And I like green beans. Oh, four on the dot. Okay, so while we're waiting for our potatoes to cook and then we'll start dinner. And dinner is, um, oh wait, first you have to make sure you plug your food into my fitness pal. So for lunch, I would have my potatoes, green beans, my protein bar, and then my, my chicken breast or pulled rotisserie chicken skinless. So another cheat that I do is where is it oh i actually buy these protein bars from costco just because it's so easy right this would be my dessert my dessert after lunch and then you can just scan the barcode over here and just enter it into my fitness pal or you can always eat it eat a nary's bar for lunch too whichever one works i don't have any nary's bars right now unfortunately otherwise i'd be eating that as dessert now we would start dinner okay let's see who else is on oh lucinda's online hey lucinda uh, we have julia oh kathy Bodie's online hey shelly okay all right let's start dinner so again i'm using proteins that i like and i found this ground turkey at the store yesterday. So we're gonna cook that. And I like ground turkey because it's so versatile. You can add it to anything. So Kelsey here said, have you tried the RX bar from Costco? RX bar? No, I haven't tried RX bar. What's so good about the RX bar? Is it tasty or is it good nutrients? Let me know. I, I think I need to try the RX bar. I've heard of it actually because Jen and Kathy Bodhi were talking about this bar. So I will have to try that. My favorite bar is actually um, the grenade bar. So good. Okay. Just gonna put this here. wash my hands there we go let's check on our potatoes here not quite there yet but as you can see it's starting to get a little bit crispy so we'll put in there a little bit longer and then we'll cook our chicken And if you can't find ground chicken, you can always use chicken breast or ground beef, anything you like really. And like, and for me, I'm trying to get 40% proteins. But I like ground chicken because, like I said, it's so versatile. You can put it into fried rice. You can put it over um, some coleslaw and then put um, like salsa on top and then a little bit of sour cream. And uh, it 
even eat it with some avocado, then you have like a Mexican salad already. Or you could cook this and then put it with, um, what else? Spaghetti squash and then pasta sauce over That's another meal. And like I said, you can just do so many things with this, which is why I love this so much. Oh, you can make chili with ground chicken as well. But for today, we're just going to cook it plain only because I'm planning to use some of this for my kids' meal later today. And then I'm just gonna season it. A little bit of seasoning salt. What else do we have? Kathy Bodhi was saying she's making some Korean. Oh, Kathy Bodhi, you're making Korean ground beef with lettuce wraps. It's part of my meal prep today. Okay, Kathy, you have to send me a picture of this. <laughs> Maria's online. Hey, Maria. Oh, Jane's online. They okay, said they Jane. Love your Neri bars better. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, so apparently you guys like my Neri's bar better. I love it too, but you know I don't have any on me right now. <laughs> I'm blaming it on RJ. I swear. He's been eating it, so he actually takes a Neri's bar and he puts it in ice cream, right? Like he eats sugar-free ice cream and. He crumbles the Neri's bar on top and he adds a little bit of coarse salt and then some Krizda chocolate chips. And that's his dessert, actually. I need to make more Neri's bar, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna cook this. Jerome, can you show them my oven? Okay, so this is actually part of my meal prep again. I have some cooked chicken breast, and I always make sure to have cooked chicken breast. And I, I don't really put a lot of flavorings on it, just because I use this for, I like to have it on hand just to have in the fridge. That way I'm not snacking on stuff I shouldn't be snacking. But I mean, you can put this on anything also. And I cook it plain because my kids, Kai actually eats plain chicken breast. He doesn't like flavor on it. So I have to only put salt in that. He doesn't eat uh, chicken thighs. He just likes his ground or his plain chicken breast. So I, leave, I always have that on hand too. And then um, I would plug it into my fitness pal, but I would eat this with a wrap if you want to eat it with a wrap or you can eat it over salads. Um, how else can you eat it? <laughs> Or you can eat a plain. Yeah. Sometimes I put a little bit of barbecue sauce over it. Who else do we have? Oh, hey, Barb. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, Shelly says, chocolate sea salt is my favorite. RX bar. Okay, what's this RX bar? Yeah. Pauline says, you're using the air fryer. Yes, we're finally using the air fryer. RJ wants to give it away. And I was like, no, we can't give it away. Let's try it first. And now he's the one who's hooked on it. Okay, let's check up on my potatoes now. Oh, look! See, doesn't that look good? Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna get my containers. Or, you know, I'll bring the air fryer. I'll bring it here. Okay. So I'm going to have about four ounces of potatoes just because you don't need to eat that many potatoes and there's actually quite a bit of carbs already but what works best for me is about four ounces. But look at how good that looks already. Yes. And it's crispy. There you go. This is my lunch for That's, tomorrow guys. Yes, or yes. Actually, my lunch, my lunch today. <laughs> okay, let's put that the rest in here. And then I always add salt after because I don't want to add too much salt. There. So this would be two lunches. There you go. Now I need to get my asparagus. Just a second here. Okay, let's turn this off. Get stuff ready. Just gonna prepare my asparagus. And I actually count my asparagus. I eat 15. 15. Oh wow. Yeah. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I, I count this. And did you know that asparagus is, I think it's a, a diuretic when you eat it? Mm -hmm. It actually makes you pee. Oh. And then when you buy asparagus, you want to make sure that you actually take the, the bottoms out because they're very, um, they're very tough. Have you noticed that? No. And if you look at it, it's a different color. Yeah. It's actually kind of woody, right? Yeah. So you just want to take the, the bottoms off. I just snap it. Mm. Oh, see? Woody. That's right. I bought these yesterday from Superstore. It was on sale for about... I think a dollar sixty a pound. So I got two bundles. So this is my 15 asparagus. Again, into the air fryer we go. Put that in here. Set it for 10 minutes. Okay, so funny story. I'm doing this meal plan. It's day six now. I've lost five pounds actually. I lost five pounds in the last six days. So I'm planning to do this for the next three weeks, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but anyway, so I'm at Superstore, and if you buy a certain amount of like food, right, $300 worth, you actually get free cheesecakes. So um, the, ca the cashier tells me, oh, you, you, you guys get free cheesecakes. I'm like, what? You're giving me free, three free cheesecakes. Not one, but three. And she says, all you have to do is go walk to the bakery get the cheesecakes, go to the customer service, and then they'll give it to you for free. So guess what I did? You, you, you went and get it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I said to RJ, okay, take the kids to the car. We have three free cheesecakes. I'm going to go and get my cheesecakes. So I didn't eat them. They came frozen. So I put them straight into the freezer, and this was one of them. It is what the New York style cheesecake. So I have this. What else do I have? I got this too. Just a plain one. Wow. I know, right? All right. And then double decker. Wow. So double I really one. want when these are you cheesecakes. Eat that, Mary? You know, I don't know when I'm gonna eat it. I plan to eat it first of all, but I'm not gonna eat a lot. And if I do eat it, I'll look at the nutrition. It says a fifth of the cheesecake. So I'll eat. A fifth there not go. more <laughs> not less I'm going to make this work though and there is a barcode here so you can just scan it into your your my fitness pal to keep you accountable right so you don't go over so that's what I got from superstore I thought it was so funny I'd rather just get my money back over the cheesecake but I'm not gonna not take it right that's just crazy talk okay so our ground chicken is done Let's put it into some more Tupperware. This, look, it's all Tupperware. Ooh. That's the Tupperware life, right? Perfect. I know, I need to get nicer containers. <laughs> okay, again, we're gonna weigh our food. And you know what? So I got this from the States, but you can find this at Walmart. You can find it Superstore, online, and they're not that expensive because people use scales all the time now. So I would say they're maybe $10 or so very affordable okay so then it's in ounces I'm just gonna put about five ounces of ground chicken I only cooked one package but I can always cook another okay I only have enough for one oh well, May is asking why 15 asparagus so the reason why I chose 15 asparagus is because um, I'm trying to stay within my my caloric uh, intake that I'm allowed, so I don't exceed what my calories are for that day. Because I'm trying to be in a four to five hundred calorie deficit, and everything has calories, right? So uh, I'm only allowed 15, but 15 is actually quite a bit. And uh, and I know all of this because I have a smartwatch here, and I know how much I burn in a day. So then um, I know what I can eat. So that way I don't exceed what I'm burning because my goal is to try to lose a little bit of fat, right? Um, so that's why I have the 15 and that's why I actually measure everything. So I measure it and then I plug it into the MyFitnessPal so I know what I'm eating because you have to be accountable as well. So great question, May. What else do we have? 
uh, Shelly said about um, stir fry. Ground chicken over top of french fries. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then what else? I'm interested in this ground beef. What's that, Kathy Bodhi? Okay, what else do we have? Shelly says, yes, you need to try it. Okay, I need to try this. RX bars. If someone's going to Costco, please let me know. <laughs> and buy me some <laughs> RX bars. <laughs> okay, so look. It's this actually great. didn't... Oh, there you are. Yeah. This didn't take quite long. It only took a few minutes, but you can see it gets really crispy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So then I would top that and put it over here. And that is my dinner. And now this is pretty lean already, but you still need to eat some good fats. Let me put this back. Here. Oh, you don't put rice in this one? Sorry, you know, I'm not, I'm not eating this with rice because like I said, I'm trying to get 30% of calories from carbs mm -hmm. and I have my carbs. These vegetables actually have quite a bit of carbs, but I have potatoes in here as well. And then plus my oats have a lot of carbs. Yeah. And so I'm pairing this with fat because I need something fatty. So I always have these um, avocados. And then if you have avocados that aren't ripe, the secret is just wrap it up in foil and then it'll ripen in a few days. Or you could always put it near some bananas and then it'll ripen up too. So this is kind of soft. So when you cut your avocado, be careful. Oh my goodness, be careful. I almost cut myself the other day. They actually have, um, it's so funny, they have this device where um, you just put your avocado in and then it holds the avocado still so you don't cut your hands because a lot of people actually have to go to the hospital because they've cut their hands. Oh, trying to cut it. Well, my sister, my sister actually had to go to the hospital and get stitches because. Really? Yes. Wow. She was in the ER for seven hours because um, she cut her hand. That's why I say be careful. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah I'll slice it. Like that. So that is dinner. And then one small avocado is roughly 160 calories. So I would eat only half. And that way I'm within my caloric intake. So that way I'm roughly in about a 500 calorie deficit. So let's show what I would typically eat. This would be dinner. This is lunch. These two or breakfast. And I also pair this with two coffees because coffees are a must and they're a non-negotiable. Like you have to have your coffee. All right, so tell the viewers again, Shardy. So we have breakfast. Okay, so breakfast, I would typically have a third cup of oats with um, sweetened with stevia and cinnamon and melted peanut butter on top. Also breakfast together is um, 175 grams of Greek yogurt with stevia and cinnamon. And then um, this is lunch, which is five ounces of rotisserie chicken with some green beans, four ounces, and then four ounces of cooked potatoes. And I also have it with a protein bar for dessert. Okay. And then this is dinner, which is five ounces of ground chicken, 15 asparagus, and half an avocado. And then I have two coffees during the day with a side of three liters of water. So all of these calories adds up to about 1350 or so um, but it helped me stay full and it helped me achieve my goals and I've lost five pounds in the last six days so I'm really I'm really happy over that <laughs> uh, well thanks guys for tuning in if, if you have any questions feel free to comment below but I'll see you guys next week bye now